Hello and welcome to the weekly financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. In this video, we're going to learn how to model a different type of consulting business where you have a retainer. Of course, uh, this business is more uh, favorable to us because we have recurring revenue. If you want to learn how to model a consulting business by project, look at the previous video that we've posted. So here we want to determine sales for a retainer-based consulting business. We're going to assume a certain number of leads per month. Uh, we will assume a certain sales cycle, how long it takes us to convert those leads to a project, the conversion rate. And then we need to see what is our retainer going to be. So we need to consider project types, retainer amount for project type, average project length, and the percentage of time each project type is used on average. And uh, the way you set those assumptions will either be by asking your colleagues if you're just starting out your business uh, in terms of how long it takes, how many leads should you target to generate per month, what should you charge, doing competitive research, and then as you begin working, this will um, uh, come from your past data. Okay, let's see how we can model a retainer-based consulting business. So um, in this case, we're generating five leads a month. Uh, we're converting one in five, so one project, and it takes one month to convert a client, right? So we have um, three types of projects, 5,000 a month retainer, 10,000 a month retainer, 15,000 a month retainer. You see the project lengths here and the percentage of the time that each project occurs, right? So the first step is to calculate what is your average project? How much do you charge and how long does it last? Let's multiply. Um, our project specific amounts times the probability that this project occurs. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm anchoring the columns so that I can paste it, right? And so here we see that on average, you're going to make uh, $9,500. And for the length, I propose that we actually round it down to be more conservative to two months. Okay, so now let's do the actual modeling. We are getting five leads a month. We are going to convert, right? We're going to use the floor function to be more conservative. We're going to convert five leads from the previous month because it takes one month to convert. I'm going to multiply it by the conversion rate and round it down, right? So not surprisingly, we convert one project a month. Now, here's an interesting part here is that we need to calculate how many projects are paying at any given month, right? So for the first month, it's just going to be however many projects you convert. For the next month, because each project lasts two months, it will be whatever you had last month plus whatever you converted. Okay, however, for each following month you need to also subtract the number of projects that expired. And so it will be whatever projects you had the previous month plus a number of new projects minus those projects that have ended, right? And so it makes sense that you only have two projects going on in any given month. With this business model, you are making $9,500 a month per project. So we're just gonna piece that down. And with this business model, you're making close to 200,000 a year. Pretty good business. And there we go. If you like this video, please comment below, share with your friends and colleagues, and sign up for the Startup Station's YouTube channel for more financial modeling tips every week. If you'd like to learn our unique framework for how to model early stage ventures, please sign up for the free masterclass. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.